Uh, good evening, everybody. Uh, Steeler fans out there. Um, tonight, I am going to um, do a video on Pittsburgh Steeler scores. Um, if you're wondering why I'm wearing um, a Pittsburgh Pirate jersey and not a Steeler jersey, it's because um, I'm going to do the scores or show you the scores uh, of the Steelers when they first started out. And a lot of people don't know that from 1933 to 1939, they were actually the Pittsburgh Pirates. They had the same name as the baseball team. Um, so I had jot down all these scores over the years and you know, I got them from books and stuff, you know. So, um, starting in 1933, uh, for example, um, which was the first year, that was the year that uh, Art Rooney bought the team. I forgot how much it was, but it was really cheap back then. Um, their very first game was against the Giants, the New York Giants. You know, the same New York Giants that are in football today. They lost 23-2. to two. Um, That was their first game. Um, then they lost, they actually beat the Cardinals. They only played 11 games back then, by the way. But they, they beat the Cardinals 14-13. Then the Redskins beat them 21-6. Uh, they beat the Reds 17-3. The Packers, the Green Bay Packers, you know, killed them 47-0. They actually tied with the Reds 0-0. The Redskins, they actually beat the Redskins 16-14. The Dodgers, they tied 3-3. Then they got killed by the Dodgers. Yeah, the Dodgers. They had a base football team there was called the Dodgers as well. Same thing with the Reds. A lot of teams back then used the baseball teams as their, you know, their teams. Um... And a lot of them just faded away, you know. Uh, so, like, the Dodgers beat the Pirates 32-0. The Eagles beat the Pirates 25-6. And the Giants, again, beat them 27-3. So, and then their coach was Jap Duds. I think believe that's how you say his last name. But the offense scored only 67 points, 6.1 average. The defense gave up 208, an 18.9 average. And here is the um, fifth place. I got the scores right here so you can see them. I don't know if you can see it in the video. The lighting in back is kind of crappy, but it's actually better having the light on and not having no light at all. But uh, there's the scores right there, and that's 1933. Um, okay, now 1934. <sighs> um, coaches by Lubby, Luby, Dim, Dime, Light Leo, I think he, he, he pronounced it. I'm, I'm not sure, maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong. Uh, they played 12 games. They were only 2-10. and 10. Uh, The Pirates beat the Reds. They started out pretty good. They won 13-0. Um, they lost to the Redskins 7-0. They lost to the Eagles 17-0. They lost to the Giants 14-12. They then beat the Eagles 9-7. They lost to the, to the Bears, uh, the Chicago Bears, 28-0. They lost to the Redskins 39-0. Uh, lost to the Giants 17-7. Lost to that Dodger team again 21-3. The Lions, Detroit Lions, you know that team. Same Detroit Lions. Lost to them 40-7. So you can see the Steelers really were struggling back then. They were a horrible team back then. The Gunners, um, I forgot what team they turned into. They lost to them 6 nothing, And the Dodgers, that Dodger team again, 10 nothing. So their offense, they only scored 51 points, gave up 206, so an average of 4.3 on offense, 17.2, and there's a 1934 team. I don't know if you guys can see it, fifth place. So their first two years, eh, wasn't too good. Um, 1935, uh, was Coach Joe Batch, um, or Beck, I guess that's how you pronounced it. And they were a little bit better, they were 4-8, and eight. uh, pfft. You know, that still, you know, the team you can, you know, that really was bad back then. Um, and here's the games. They also played 12 games. They're only 4-8. and eight. Uh, They beat the Eagles 17-7. Started out pretty good. They, then they got clobbered by the Giants. You know, the big, the, 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 the powerhouses they weren't going to beat back then. Uh, 42-7. The Bears beat them 23-7. The Packers clobbered them 27-0. The Eagles beat them 17-6. That's the Philadelphia Eagles, by the way. 
Uh, then they beat the Cardinals 17-13, and they beat the Redskins 6-0, so they actually showed some promise. Then the Dodgers beat them again 13-7. They beat the Dodgers again 16-7. Uh, 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 then the Packers beat them 34-14. The Redskins beat them 13-3, and then they finished off the season losing to the Giants 13-0. So our offense gave up, or actually scored 100 points, 8.3 average, and their defense gave up 209, which is 17.4 on average. So their defense was getting a little bit better, or maybe, you know, it was kind of crappy, and their offense is basically the same. Or actually, actually, our offense was a little bit better, actually. So here is the actual scores of that. Their third place, uh, there's the coach. Um, so there, that's pretty much the 1935 season. Um, moving on to the 1936 season, and they actually had their first 500 record, believe it or not. Um, coached by Joe Batch again, or back. Um, they were 6-6, six and six, second place. See, a lot of people don't know that back then, there was only two divisions, okay? There was no AFC or NFC, which is two divisions in the NFL. And if you didn't win your division, there was no playoffs. And the two teams that there was two divisions, whoever won your division, those teams went to the, the NFL championship. That's what it was. I think the only way there was a playoff is if, if the two teams in first tied, then they had one playoff to decide who wins the division, and then that team would then go to the NFL championship. That's basically how it was back then. So if the Steelers didn't or the Pirates didn't win the division, no matter what the record was, they're not going to the playoffs. That's how it was back then. There was no wild cards. There was no divisional playoffs. That's how it was back then. Um, so again, a six and six record, I guess, was respectable back then. You know, um, they started off. Uh, they actually played pretty good defense. Actually, they beat the Redskins ten nothing. They beat the Dodgers uh, six. Oh, ten. That's the Redskins team too, by the way. If you're wondering. Uh, they actually were, I think, the Boston Redskins before they became the Washington Redskins. Um, but they beat, the Do they beat the Dodger team 10-6, the Giants 10-7, so they actually played, it's like the Steel Curtain, basically, you know, back then. It was like, damn, three games in a row, they only scored 10 points, and they won all three games. Then, the fun ended. You know, they, the, the Bears clobbered them 27-9, then the Pirates beat the Eagles 17 nothing. so their defense played great again. Then the Bears clobbered them 26-6, they got clobbered by the Packers again, they weren't going to beat the powerhouses back then. 42-10, beat the Dodgers 10-7, beat the Eagles 6-0, then got Colorado by the Lions, Detroit Lions 28-3, Cardinals beat them 14-6, and the Redskins beat up on them 30-0. So they played pretty good for a little while, you know. They beat some teams up, they played great defense, but the other teams, the big powerhouse teams, they weren't gonna, they weren't gonna touch back then. Their offense put up 97 points, 8.1 on average. Defense can only give up 187, which is actually a little bit lower than the 200 they were giving up, which is 15.6, so they were playing better. Um, again, here is the scores. That was the Steelers' official first time they actually, or, you know, they were called the Pirates back then. The first time they actually had a 6-6 a, a six six, uh, record. Um, so, moving on. Um, moving on to the um, next year would be 1937. Uh, again, this was this team was uh, coached by John Blood, in four and seven. You know, third place. Um, they only played like eleven games that year. Um, I'm gonna read it to you really quick. Uh, they beat the Eagles 27-14. It started out pretty good. They beat the Dodgers 21 nothing. Two and zero start actually. We have too bad. Then they they barely lost to the Giants 10-7. Then they lost to the Bears seven nothing. Played good defense, but lost the Lions again. They lost to the Lions seven three. Uh, Redskins beat them thirty four twenty. Cardinals beat them thirteen seven. Then they beat the Eagles sixteen seven. Then they lost to the Giants seventeen nothing. Then the Pirates beat the Redskins twenty one thirteen. And then they lost to the Dodgers twenty three nothing. Their offense actually put up one hundred twenty two points, eleven point one on average. Then their defense only gave up like one hundred forty five. 13.2 average, or that was actually, to that point, was actually the best defense they probably played, you know, until the Steel Curtain came out in the 70s. So here's the 1937 season, which was a third place finish. As you can see it, written as it, you know, I wrote it down. Um, so there's two more seasons, actually, as the Pirates, and I will read them to you as, you know, uh, Coach John Blood, 1938, 2-9, and nine, they play 11 games. 
So as, as you can see, this team was not good. I mean, they only had like one, um, one, one, one not winning teams, but one like team there actually were 500. Um, this team was two and nine. Um, the first game they they actually lost to the Lions 16-7. They lost to the Giants 27-14. They lost to the Eagles 27-7. They actually beat the Dodgers 17-3. Then they actually beat the Giants 13-10. So that was their two wins right there. The Dodgers clobbered them. Or actually, no, they only barely lost them 17-7. Then the Packers beat them 20-0. The Redskins beat them 7-0. The Eagles beat them 14-7. The Redskins beat them 15-0. And then the Rams beat them 13-7. So their defense played great. It's just that their offense was horrible. Their offense only scored 79 points. 7.2 an average, which is horrible. Only a touchdown, a little more than a touchdown in the game. Their defense only gave 169, which is 15.4, which is pretty good. But they're just, they just couldn't could score. They were horrible on offense. Um, so if they had an offense back then, who knows? They might have won the average. They might have won back then. Um, so there's their third, their third team from 1938. Here is their 1939 team, which was their last team with the pirate name. Uh, coaches actually had two coaches. They had John Blood and Walt Keesing, I think how you how you say it. Uh, they were, they played eleven games. They were one nine and one. Um, again, another team that was just you know <laughs> pathetic. They uh, they lost to the Dodgers starting off twelve to seven. Again, um, pretty good defensive effort. They lost to the Cardinals ten nothing. Then they got clobbered by the Bears thirty two nothing. They lost to the Giants fourteen seven. They got clobbered by the Redskins, 44-14. Lost it again to the Redskins, 21-14. Sometimes they play back-to-back -back games against teams back then. Then they actually beat the Rams, 14, or actually a tie, 14-14. Um, they lost to the Dodgers, 17-13. In theory, actually in some, some games, actually. They lost to the Giants, 23-7. They, they actually lost to the Eagles, 17-14. They actually ended the last season as the Pittsburgh Pirates. They actually won 24-12 over the Eagles. Their offense gave up 100, or actually scored 114, a 10.4 average. Their defense actually gave up 216. They actually dropped a little bit, 19.6. Um, so that pretty much is the Pikes as we knew them as, you know, the Pikes were Pirates. So from 1933 to 1939, um, they, their official record was 22 wins, 55 losses, three ties, a 286 winning percentage. Their offense scored 630 points, only 7.9 on average. I mean, in that in that time they were the Pirates, their offense didn't even average 8 points. Um, and their defense, 1,340 points, which is actually respectable, 16.8. For as bad as their offense was, I mean, that's actually a pretty good defense, actually, what I think, anyway. But their offense was just so bad, that's why their record was bad. But that's the record for the uh, Pirates, um, which was the Steelers back then. And in 1940, Art Rooney actually changed the name to the Steelers as we know them today. So, so people that didn't know that and they want to see this video and you're wondering why I'm wearing the Pirates and not the Steelers, that's the reason. Um, so, uh, thanks for watching this video. I hope it's educational to you. Um, I will show you the last record. So, you know, you're probably wondering, okay, why didn't you show that? I want to make sure I get this in. So, there it is right there. And then there's the record down there. Um, you know, um, if you want, we'll go, we'll, we'll flip through these really quick. Um, to recap, 33, there were 3, 6, and 2. Uh, there's a record in 33, there were 3, 6, and 2. Just in case I missed any, any years. Uh, there's the 34 team that was, um, whoops, am I get it right here in the video? Let's see. Okay, there's the 34 team, just in case I missed this. And then there's the 35 team really quick. Um, and then we'll flip the pages really quick, just in case I missed this. There's the 36 team. There's the 37 squad. Um, and then the 38 squad really quick. I'll put that up there in case I missed it. And there is a 39 squad. And as you can see, there's a record down on the bottom, their official record as the Pittsburgh Pirates. And as you can see, it's 22, 55, and 3, 286 winning percentage. You can see it, you know. Um, so that is the what I wanted to post, or that's what I wanted to put on video. 
So, um, I hope everybody enjoyed it. I um, hope it was educational. Uh, thanks for watching the video, and uh, you can comment on it, whatever. You know, you want to say what you want on it. I can, you know, if you have any questions, I can try to answer it for you. Um, for, thanks for watching. Thanks for, you know, thanks.